Yo, my man, you're inebriated. Get your shit together, King. Wake the hell up, man. Check yourself, man. The body has laws. It has demands and requirements. Abuse it, and you will lose it. What does the word Bible mean? Tell me. I don't know your definition. No, it's not my definition. Give me yours. Definition. Give me yours. I, I don't know. What does it mean? I don't know. What does it mean? You understand it? What you believe? I, I your faith. What, I'm talking about. what this is, yes. basically, Bible. Actual. Basic instructions before leaving Earth. This is an instruction manual while you're here on this planet. Okay? It gives you a dietary law. You understand? It gives you a ceremonial law. Okay? It gives you a moral law and a civil law. When we understand these categories that's here in this book, this book can save our people if they follow it accordingly. Not according to the way that y'all say spookism and all that nonsense. Because there ain't no spookism in it. All these, all these brothers breaking down. See the dollar bill? On the back of it, that's our pyramid. Let two niggas go up to Congress and say, that's our pyramid, we want it back. Yeah. See what Congress do to your ass. Even as advanced as you may get on the planet, it becomes very difficult to start calibrating and calculating where you actually came from. And then in your works, you'll start seeing that you actually came from nothing. And since everything comes from something, according to even the highest states of knowledge here on the planet, then this becomes a meltdown in the mind. So if you start thinking, this is my signature, this is my face, this is my name, everywhere that imprint is, even in the dream worlds of individuals' minds that are entwining you, it actually affects you the more you believe in it. Okay? Signature Boy. comes two words. Signing your nature. When you sign your nature over, that's a cattle thing. You're dealing a cattle. You understand? So you said you're putting yourself back in slavery. A man don't sign in nature. Any king gives a seal. Okay? All kings give a seal. But when the white man deals, when you deal with that dollar bill, he shows you his seal. Right. The seal of America. Right. He'll say, this is my single so, fucking so, do Hold on. People are suspecting that there is a real purpose for life. To come together as a community. That's the first form of economics and nationhood, brother. You gotta get that right. These principles can bring you together. It's real simple. Wisdom is too hard for a fool. People skip over this goddamn thing. Okay, they skip over it. The wisdom of God is what? Wisdom is too hard for a fool. That's the problem with you. The Bible has an economic plan, real easy. Because if you love your brothers, you love yourself, you're gonna make sure he survives like you survive. Real simple. It's right there in the book. Now that's powerful economics. Look at the most I have on that. Now, wait a minute. Every kingdom has fell. Every kingdom. From the Greeks to the Romans, the Egyptians. Every kingdom you name has fell. It is all crumbled. Even this kingdom will fall. Every nation has had a scripture, either in the form of a book or an oral tradition, in which the will of the creating power is explored as far as the creature can trace it. He cannot trace it all the way. But he becomes gradually aware that there is a reality behind it. I give you a good argument. What's the, what what does the word Bible mean? Tell me. Tell no, nigga, you tell no, no, me because no, 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 you want to say where this exists. I'm not listen. All right, I'm going to show you this just to show you how heavy this is. What is this planet called? Come on. You saying Earth? I'm asking you, uh, bro. You saying Earth? Come on. This, this planet is called Earth, right? Okay, okay. Okay, being that this planet is called Earth, where does the word Earth come from? You don't know? The word Earth coming from the Greek word, right? The Greek word Eros, right? Now, where did they get this word from? Arakaza. That's the Hebrew word. So now when you spell word earth, earth out, it goes back all the way into the Hebrew language. Okay. Aratazah, the word earth itself is called that way back. And you can look at any text. You can look on any wall. You understand? Most people fail to realize this. So now when they talk about your beginnings, right? When you deal with our forefathers, when you deal with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, most people get caught up on this. Israel, the land of Israel, right? Israel, you niggas, I see y'all just started Israel, Israel. But guess what? It goes further than that. It goes back to our forefathers and where they came from. You understand? When you deal with Abraham, Abraham came from a land of the Chaldeans. Came from the land when you deal with Samaria, okay? Came from Mesopotamia, this land that went way before when certain monuments was erected in Egypt. The oldest pyramids are found with. Where the oldest pyramids found in the world? No, see, now the oldest pyramid Every is found day. here in America. Every you can day. research this, Every okay? Day. So now if it's found here in America, you'll see the same structure. Who built these pyramids in America? Who? You'll find out that they were the children of Shashaka, okay? Now when you deal with the Olmec people, okay? Coming out of the tribe of Yashashaka, who people will call the Mexicans so on and so forth. When you check this out, this was erected far beyond it was erected in Egypt. 
So when you see that, there's a correlation with us coming together when you get an understanding. A lot of people like to battle and say, yo, we this, I'm this, I'm that, but they don't have an understanding of what they battle. Now when a young man, I'm going to answer this question. Always remember this. See, a lot of people fail to realize this one thing. When a man asks a question, he has to be validated upon that question which he asks. Come on, brother. And the validation is in this. Now when a young man, I ask him, what does the word Bible mean, right? The word Bible comes from the word Biblios, which means books. It's a collection of books. Now these books are collection. Remember, they came together and as they were put together and written by our people that spoke many languages. Do you understand? So now when even our people during the Hellenistic period, they spoke Greek. Okay? So when they said a white man, white man, Greek, Greek, guess what? We taught them that language. That wasn't a white man's language. We were the one that taught them that language of Greek. So now when people talk about the Septuagint and the translation, these were Israelite people, okay, that lived in Egypt that were Hellenistic. Now when they went and translated the scriptures out of the Hebrew tongue, not out of any other tongue, but the Hebrew tongue into the Greek tongue. Then after that Greek tongue, all it came down to this English that we read today. So we had that understanding. You know what you're dealing with. You understand? A lot of people fail to realize this. So now, when, again, when we talk about the white man, most niggas go around that. They go around what to do with the white man. See, young man, that's what I'm saying. When you come to battle, you got to be fully armed, brother. You know what I'm saying? You got to be fully armed. Hold on, Chain. You are a master at semantics. A lot of these other niggas don't know how to deal with your fucking ass. But I'm telling you, right now, you swimming in deep water. All right? So we gonna, let's, let's just let's take this it. slow little by little. You know what I'm saying? Because he know, he know what he's doing. Because believe in his heart, he'll tell you in a minute, Bible's a good book, it's just certain things I won't follow. He'll say that as well, but he just don't say it all the time and get y'all to hear it. You see what I'm saying? He'll tell you that, right? It was, it was tearing me up to not believe that it was real. You see what I mean? Because this is where you start stripping your own screws. If you, you, you still are policing yourself and shutting yourself down and saying, that's not real, man. You didn't really see that, man. This is crazy, man. Something's wrong with you, man. And then this is like a war right there. That's the biggest war because it's one being saying you didn't see it. You didn't see it. You really didn't see it. And then it being another being that's saying, man, I know what I saw. Real simple. You understand? Hey, yo, Shaw. And remember, if you let the being that uh, is trying to convince you that you didn't see it win, it's a, it's a mighty blow to your spirit because now you have to go against truth because you know you saw it, but now you're having to believe that you didn't see it for whatever reason. You see what I mean? And this is deep stuff that goes on in a person's consciousness if you're even starting to get into the, the meat of what spirituality really is. And so, you know, this is the, the, the complete metamorphosis of it. I've met people now with spirits. And their stories are vast. The different races of spirits and different kinds of entities, different geometries and symmetrics and all that stuff will blow a person's mind. And, and it doesn't, for people who can't comprehend all of that, they're not allowed to because they don't even have the capacity. And this is why they still believe that I'm here on my own. Human beings are the only sentient life form. I haven't seen any other sentient life. Yet, you know, they're walking all on top of sentient life. You see what I mean? People, they don't think that the loss of their immortality or even the idea in their mind that they could actually die is not a major issue going on with the DNA. It's because... In my opinion, whoever developed these ideas originally, going back multiple, multiple thousands of years, from which we today are still, you know, carry on those ancient traditions, whoever they were were not of this world. They were absolutely brilliant. And, and far, far too intelligent, I think, to have been just normal humans, because their work has impacted the whole human race for countless thousands of years. So whoever gave us these ideas, I believe, are not from here.